Hello everyone, I'm here again with Squawk, the famous polymath, uh, and we're going to do some more maths today. Last time we tried to add up all the numbers, didn't we? But we didn't really manage to do that, that was too difficult. So a much easier problem today, we'll just add up the odd numbers. Just the odd numbers. We'll start with 1 and we'll add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 and so on like that. Shall we try starting? Look, here we go. 1. Squawk does love knocking down these blocks as well, but he's promised not to do it yet, haven't you? Yeah. Let's add 3, shall we? No, don't knock them down yet. 1 plus 3 appears to be 4. What should we do next? Yes, we'll add 5 next. Here we go. Now count those up. If you look at that and count them, it seems that 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9. That's interesting. We've had 1, we've had 4, we've had 9, haven't we? Let's add Add on 7 now, the next odd number. Here we go, let's add it. There, I've added on a 7 now, and I've made 16. I'm sorry if you can't see it at home because the top's gone out of the picture. I hope you can imagine it up there like that. Yeah, it's tall, isn't it? And, uh, the total is 16, so we've had 1, we've had 4, we've had 9, and we've had 16 so far. And I think it's possible to work out that if we added on another 9, the next odd number, we'd get 25. We, we know these numbers, don't we? These are the famous square numbers. We've got the square numbers just by adding up the odd numbers. What are you saying? One's the wrong colour. I've put a green one in where there should be a blue one. Uh, and, uh, well, it's because I ran out of blue ones, you see. I've only got six blue ones in my set. So what are you going to do with that? You're going to, you're going to knock them down so that we can build them better. Okay, you do that. That was, that was a bit violent. I've lost one now. Right. So it seems like adding up the odd numbers makes the square numbers. Let's see if we can see that, shall we? One. No, don't knock it down yet. Add three. Yes, now you can see that it's made four and it's a square, yes. Then what? Add five, yes. That's right, if I put the blocks in the right places it makes it obvious what's going on, doesn't it? Uh, one plus three plus five has made uh, a three by three square, which is nine. Let's add on the seven, shall we? It is, and now you can see that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 16, which is a 4 by 4 square. That's why the odd numbers make the square numbers, isn't it? Now, if you remember last time, we noticed, we, we looked at staircase numbers last time, didn't we? And, uh, and where, what, what, what? You don't like it because two of them are the wrong colour. What are you going to do then? Oh, okay. Right, he's, he's happy when he's knocked them down. Right, yeah, last time we noticed that the staircase numbers could be put together to make rectangles, and, and in fact we could make squares. We can split any square number into two staircase numbers. Let's see that, shall we? Let's just make a, a square number here. And I've coloured it so that it's got two staircase numbers in it. And you can always do that with a square number, obviously. Uh, and here are some more examples. There's the whole sequence of the square numbers uh, being built out of pairs of staircase numbers. 
So both, both numbers are, are all related like that. Each time we make a zigzag line down through the square number to divide it into two staircases. What should we do next? Knock the blocks down. OK. Now, what else? You want to... You want to make triangle numbers? Why? Why triangle numbers? Oh, because they're polygons too. OK, right. Polygons. Triangles. Well, the problem is, you see, I haven't got triangle blocks. And nor have you. So we're going to have to use pictures instead. Let's add up uh, some triangle numbers. Start here with one triangle. Now, if I make a larger triangle out of that, I, I add three more triangles and make one like this, uh, and that makes four. And now I find I can add another five triangles like this. You see I'm adding the old numbers again, aren't I? Uh, and I'll make nine, and so on. Oh, well, that is quite weird, isn't it? Yes. The triangles are the the triangle numbers are the same as square numbers. How, how can that be? Well, you see, it's just the adding up process, isn't it? Uh, every time we add a new odd number to, to either the square number or the triangle number, we copy the last shape we added on, and we add two more blocks. And that happens with both squares and triangles, even if the arrangement of the blocks is different. Well, yeah, you're right. We can easily divide a square into two staircases, can't we? How could we divide a triangle into two staircases, though? It must be possible if they're really the same numbers. But how? Well... Let's look at this picture. We could split a 16 triangle into a 10 and a 6. Those are the two staircase numbers, just by colouring in some. But uh, it's not a very nice arrangement, is it? How can we make it obvious that it would work for all triangles? Let's watch this. Well, that was very nice, wasn't it? That makes it obvious that you can always split a triangle into two staircase numbers, or, or you can take two neighbouring staircase numbers and make a triangle out of them. Shall, shall we watch it once more? Yes, we like that. We'll watch it again. What do you want now? You want to do some different polygons. Uh, well, uh, I've got bad news for you. I don't think we can. Squares and triangles, they're the only shapes we've got which can be built up into bigger squares and triangles. So I can start with square bo blocks and I can make a square. And I can start with triangle blocks and I can make a triangle. But what about pentagons? No, if I had pentagons, I wouldn't be able to build those up into a bigger pentagon, would I? So, that's all there is. Well, we, yeah, we could count parallelograms and irregular triangles and things like that. But really, that's just cheating. They're just squares and triangles, aren't they? Just squashed. Well, OK, Squawk and I hope you've enjoyed uh, adding up the odd numbers and finding out that they make the square numbers and they also make the triangle numbers. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. What's that? You... 
You want to make circle numbers. <laughs> oh, you're just a troublemaker, you are.